okay so uh, till now we discuss uh, hypertrophy hyperplasia and now we came towards the atrophy so atrophy now we will define it what is atrophy so atrophy is shrinkage in the size of cells by loss of cell substances it leads toward decrease of organ size shrinkage in the size of the cells uh, which occurs due to the loss of cell substances when there occurs a shrinkage inside the cells it will leads towards the decrease organ size now we will discuss about the causes of uh, atrophy so there are many so many types and so many causes of uh, atrophy among them number first is decrease work load decrease work load suppose in for example in uh, immobilization of a limb uh, in healing of a fracture for so many long times it will uh, lead toward the shrinkage of the cells due to uh, unutilization of that uh, cells of the muscles so it will lead through the atrophy number second is senile uh, occur in aging in aging there occur atrophy inside the cells uh, loss of innervation when there is loss of innervation to any part of the body that part goes through atrophy when there is low blood supply to the part of the body that part will move through the atrophy when there is decrease in nutrition or when there is nutrition deficiency occur the cells will move through the atrophy decrease in workload senile that occur inside the aging and uh, the decrease in blood supply and uh, decrease in nutrition sub supply and the last is loss of endocrine system means hormonal system when there is any loss occur in the uh, hormonal system so that also move through the atrophy now we will discuss about the uh, mechanism of atrophy that uh, how atrophy is occurred so atrophy of the cell that may occur due to number first decrease protein synthesis atrophy occur due to decrease protein synthesis decrease protein synthesis occur due to reduced metabolic activity inside the cell reduce metabolic activity inside the cell number second atrophy may also occur due to increase protein degradation increase protein degradation degradation of protein occur by obiquitin proteasome pathway obiquitin proteasome proteasome pathway what is this pathway in this pathway uh, when there is a deficiency of nutrition occur so they activate a hormone which is called obiquitin ligase what this enzyme do this enzyme combine with a cellular protein and this lead to the degradation of the proteins number last that we are going to discuss here is autophagy 
Autophagy also lead to atrophy. What is atrophagy? It is a process in which the cell eats its own internal organelles or internal substances. When the cell eats all its internal substances, so what will happen? The cell will go through a shrinkage process and it will lead towards the atrophy. Atrophy may also be uh, pathological and it uh, may also be physiological. In, uh, in physiological, the um, atrophy may occur through the apoptosis in which the end, uh, in which the end, the cell may die. And pathological, it may also occur due to loss of hormonal support. So this is all about the uh, atrophy. Now, the last adaptation of the cells we are going to discuss is metaplasia. We have discussed hyperplasia. We have discussed um, hypertrophy, we have discussed atrophy, and now the last topic is about uh, hyper uh, metaplasia. Now we will discuss in detail that what is metaplasia. First of all, we will define metaplasia. So it is a reversible change in which it is a reversible change in which one differentiated cell one differentiated cell type converted into another converted into another cell type metaplasia is what it is a reversible change in which one differentiated cell type converted into another cell type. Now we will discuss the mechanism of metaplasia in which you will understand that how one cell type differentiated cell type is converted into another cell type. We will see in mechanism. So metaplasia occur is a arise by reprogramming of the stem cells. Stem cells are uh, responsible for producing the new cells. So, when there occurs any reprogramming of stem cell, you will write here, re reprogramming of stem cell. How? Now look at Any stem cell that forms, suppose, stratified epithelium will convert to form columnar epithelium. Now the cell, why the cell move through the uh, metaplasia? The cell move through the metaplasia is only for it protective response uh, from injurious stimulus. So most common metaplasia occur in smokers. Smokers are most affected through uh, metaplasia. Uh, smokers uh, that are regular smokers regular smokers now what happened in them we will see the normal respiratory epithelium is ciliated columnar epithelium that is um, present inside the bronchia that is present inside the uh, trachea throughout the respiratory system the epithelium is ciliated columnar epithelium when you smoke so as a protective response, the ciliated columnar epithelium of the respiratory tract changes in, into ciliated columnar epithelium of respiratory tract changes into or convert itself into stratified squamous epithelium. Stratified squamous epithelium now the last epithelium that is uh, uh, that that came as a result of the changes inside the epithelium will be considered as a last epithelium and uh, you will uh, give the name accordingly that to which stratified yeah, to which epithelium it is converted now a uh, very important uh, topic we are going to discuss here related to the metaplasia is a uh, barrett's esophagus Barrett's 
SO figures. Okay, so what is Barrett's SO figures? When, when a first, when a person exposed to gastro, when a person exposed to gastroesophageal reflex, what is uh, gastroesophageal reflex? It is the uh, acid of the stomach that come out to the esophagus through the esophageal sphincters and that cause change in epithelium of the esophagus. Normally, esophagus is lined by stratified stratified squamous epithelium. If it is exposed to gastroesophageal reflex then what occurs? Then changes epithelium to columnar epithelium as a protective response. It means that when esophagus exposed towards the acid of the stomach, its normal stratified squamous epithelium changes into columnar epithelium. Columnar epithelium. This is because this the esophagus uh, support itself from that injurious acids that come out from the stomach. Now, if we um, see the histopathology, histo or microscopic uh, study of the um, Barrett's uh, esophagus, what we will see in the microscopic study of the Barrett's esophagus, there will be two important things uh, that should be seen inside the uh, histological patho pathology of the Barrett's esophagus. Number one, there will be intestinal metaplasia. There will be intestinal metaplasia. Number two, there will be goblet cell inside the esophagus. Normally, uh, esophagus does not have goblet cells. But whenever there comes change inside the epithelium of the esophagus due to acids that come out from the st uh, stomach, so when we um, study, yeah, when we check about the uh, epithelium of the uh, esophagus through microscope, we will see a goblet cell. Whenever we see a goblet cells, whenever we see intestinal metaplasia, we see that this esophagus is a Barrett's esophagus. Now, what... Uh, stain that we use for uh, Barrett's esophagus to see inside the microscope. So goblet cells as we discuss that Barrett's esophagus have a goblet cell and goblet cells include mucin. So a stain that is used uh, against mucin in order to see in the microscope is LCN blue LCN blue or mucicermin mucicermin so these are the stand that is used for a Barrett's uh, esophagus <coughs> now uh, here the Barrett's esophagus uh, it is also called a columnar esophagus now what leads the cell towards metaplasia so it is very important to, uh, you can say mcqs so an important uh, important note you can also note with yourself that vitamin a deficiency inside the cell can lead a cell to metaplasia Here, um, the last topic that we are going to discuss is connective tissue metaplasia related to metaplasia. What is uh, connective connective tissue metaplasia? We will discuss it now. So, connective tissue metaplasia is formation of cartilage, formation of cartilage 
are born in tissue suppose we can take here uh, example of that bone formation in muscle bone formation in muscle uh, which is called myositis ossification in which muscle get converted into bone this is all about the connective tissue metabolisms in which there is a formation of cartilage or bone inside the tissue suppose if we take example of the muscles so muscles also consist of the tissues so uh, here we can take the example of myositis ossification in which there is a formation of the bone inside the muscles now we are discuss a little bit uh, extra informations uh, about it that what cause what are the factors that cause uh, hypertrophy and uh, what are the factors that cause hyperplasia so factors uh, that cause hypertrophy are uh, number one is uh, type 1 insulin like growth factor this is responsible for hypertrophy that cause hypertrophy in skeletal muscles type 1 insulin like growth factor is the growth factors that cause hypertrophy inside the skeletal muscles that also cause vasodilations and that also increase the body weight now what are the factors that are involved in hyperplasia factors in hyperplasia so in hyperplasia there are there occur hormonal dysfunction dysfunction and the uh, factors that cause hyperplasia is insulin growth factor insulin growth factor and the last is atrophy so atrophy it is caused by mutation in gene that build up organ it is caused in mutation in gene that build up organ that build up organ so this is all about our today's topic in which we cover um, the, um, from the starting that what are the causes of a cell injury and uh, when there occur injurious stimulus how the cells move through uh, adaptations we uh, also mention about the when there is a severe um, uh, injurious stimulus in which there is no reversibility of the cell towards its normal function and structures which move through the cell death and we also mentioned that uh, um, through which processes the cell death uh, occur and uh, uh, after that we discuss about the adaptations of the cells that how the cells adopt itself through many uh, processes and um, uh, so this is all about our today's lectures please like our video comment on our video and subscribe our channels thank you so much